All right, yes, you're welcome back to the balanced diet of teletainment. Our people talk say, and I see finish now in the tone, good morning, sir, to bros how far. Right about now inside the studio, we get a very cadet guest, a young artist in the industry, and even in life as well. But this guy don't see and say, of everything we did, even though they university, they study one different course, um, where they, where they um, in line to science or in line with science, he don't come outside talks on the music. Now being passionate, now waiting in one focus on top. You're going to need to help me make welcome N Z and the beauty. <laughs> welcome, Thank welcome you. to the show. Thank welcome you for having me. Thank Wonderful. You for having me. So now Enzo, make we hear your journey because um I know so you did school now, two hundred level. Yeah. What did you study for school? Pharmacology and therapeutics. Pharmacology and therapeutics. Why you not study music? I'm actually I've, I've always been good with sciences. Are you not good and, with music? Yeah. Art? Yeah, by you know. Now you choose this therapy. course by yourself. Yeah. No, be yeah. saying a second option. No, be saying you want with medicine. No, no. No, be saying you want to engineering. No, no. Nursing. No. Eh, yeah. a full time. I like therapy. therapy. Ah. You know, therapy is also a food. You know, music is a food for soul. Mm -hmm. And therapy is also, you know, if you look at it well, you see that they are also both intertwined. But my biggest passion is music. Beautiful. That's why. Actually, now you don't do music. And you do therapy for school. Yeah. Why? Um, how you take manage, convince your parents? In fact, then people know when you start to do the music. Tell us that story. No. What did happen? At first, it was something secret. I was doing it secretively. You know, I would leave the house like I'm going to the library. I would dodge into the studio. Hmm. So after I did it for a while, then my mom started getting. I think she started suspecting something. So one day she followed me out. I know I didn't know. She you. No, I didn't know. So I got into the studio that day. It was like every normal day I recorded and I got home. And she was like, where, where did you go? So as I was about to lie, that was when she told me. You went to Susu studio and what were you doing there? So I had to start explaining that, you know, I've really loved music and I'm trying to actualize my passion. Like, I want to really go into music. And my dad was also there, so he was like, if you have been going to the studio, that means you have something to show. Like, he would like to see what I've been trying to do. And then I've already produced about two freestyles. So I played the freestyles for him, and he was like, yeah. Just the nod here that's how they play the freestyle, and he was like, yes, you have talent. But you won't let it distract you from your books. And you also have to, you have to find a way to balance both your school, and this, your passion. And that's how I just... So if yeah. Maleno be cash you, hmm? at one point in time, you feel so you go, come, come out, tell her. Imagine say Maleno cash you that time. You come, come for this interview. Or they come invite you, say me, come for interview. What you go tell her? The now, when should they change channel? When should they change channel? By mistake, come see you, come see, eh? No, be like, say, this person won't resemble my picking. I'm not sure that my picking. Now that's how you want to tell her. Huh? Therefore, don't catch me. If I don't catch you before that time, i <laughs> But if they don't catch me, I'll actually, I would have told them. Of course, you tell them eventually, but not immediately. Yeah, but not immediately. <laughs> okay, so tell us now about your, your which kind of song you actually do now? It's hip hop and rap. Hip hop and rap? Yeah, I guess hip hop and rap. Not like I can't jump into any other, like classical, Afro, but my major passion is hip hop and rap. You know, I write a lot of raps. I have a lot of rap songs, like a book full of raps right now. Wow. So yeah. this one we will get now. What will be the title? African Lady. African Lady. Hey! African Lady. I better watch this one because uh, my young artist here is going to tell us what he knows about the African Lady. Maybe watch the video, then come back with the, with the continue the interview. African Lady. Whoa. All right. Who actually produced that music video? It was Young D. Okay, he actually did the production. So tell me, what would be the inspiration or the ginger or the reason behind African Lady? Hmm. I want to hear this. African Lady was a club track. Okay. The vibe came when I was in the club. I was in a nightclub with my dad this Friday night. Your palo. Follow you go club. <laughs> yes. Oh boy, your palo na guy man. Eh? Okay, so they continue my here. Mm -hmm. So it was this Friday night, this ladies' night stuff, mm -hmm. and the live band was mad. Everything was just, 
I started having this vibe, like, tum, 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 but I couldn't really place it together because the live band was so loud. You can't, you just have the vibe, but I couldn't piece it together. So I had to excuse myself. I went into the restroom and I started trying to compose, even if it's just a chorus. I didn't even know about 20 minutes had passed when I was still trying to compose. Then my dad called and was like, I thought you went to the restroom. What have you been doing for, for this long? So I was, that's when I actually noticed that, ah, 30 minutes don't pass. So I quickly record it and I get. So I recorded what I had, and I went back into the club. So when the day was over, the next morning, I had to listen to my recording. I brought out my rap book. I had to find something that would relate to what I've recorded. When I opened the rap, that's where I saw pull up for the show, already got my code, company to resume, you're never going to fold. So that day, that night, I was on Gucci and I was on my ice wristwatch. So that's why I now added, turn up for the watch, everything Gucci. I used to on my wrist, so the eyes, then with Twitchy. Wow, and if you right. still listen to the rap world, you still hear, I know with this kind of boring, I wrote Friday for the bowling, because that day, that was Friday, you know. So I just used that day to just write the song. Now, looking at the entertainment industry, how easy is it done for you to actually um, try, meet up, or compete with the people who are already inside the industry? Knowing fully well, say, you just start your career as an artist. Hasn't been easy, though. Hasn't been easy. But, you know, I have support from my parents. And not just my parents, you know, friends of my parents also. Like my uncles, the likes of Hilary Bibulem, that's the principal secretary to the Delta State Governor. Then there's Alex Onyago. There is um, Christian Okwambo, mm. we call him the king of boys. And most of my uncles, Uncle Chuki, Uncle Collins, Uncle so Chuki. So now, you did, you did, you did, um, are, you, um, um, are you under any record label so far so good? No, I'm not under any record label. But I hope to get signed soon, though, by the grace of God. So tell us some of the challenges where you face as an artist in the industry. Um, challenges, challenges. You know, my biggest challenge right now, now is trying to double up, you know, both my, both my school and the music. I think that's my biggest challenge right now. Mm. Going on air. I think the balancing so of So for your school now, how are your friends that actually see you? Do they see you as a mega star or say, hey, this guy don't blow, see the level where they go. We said we don't also, we don't also, they do our own small, small. What be the perception of some of your friends about you? Yeah, that's how they... That's exactly how most of them look at me, like, ah, this guy don't go, this guy, wow, wow, wow. Guy, you go future me. You know, most of them, even some of my school friends that are also, you know, doing, that are also good in music, one kind, they're also coming to me like, guy, I'm going future now, I'm going future you now, I'm going do one collab together and the rest. So I, they, they do take me as a star. Wow, beautiful. Um, where people if you actually get this... Um your song, your social media handle in particular, so that they go fit to reach out to you. Um, for I'm on Instagram on I am NZ official. NZ, I am NZ official. Yeah. Okay for Instagram. Then my website, you can also reach me there, nzofficial.net. Okay, beautiful. Then my YouTube page is also I am NZ official. That's awesome. where I have most of my freestyles. All right, beautiful. Um, thank you so much for coming inside the studio. We wish you the very best in your career. And also, as an artist and even as a therapist, we wish you the very best in your in both careers. To enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.